Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we'll continue to learn about pre processing in scikit-learn. In this concluding video on pre processing, we'll look at custom transformer. Specifically, we'll look at how we can use our custom functions and put them in a transformer and then put the transformer in a pipeline and then use that pipeline for pre processing data. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and see how we can do this. Here I've imported three libraries, NumPy, preprocessing, and pipeline. And in addition, these are the versions that I'm using. I today I updated as uh, scikit-learn, sklearn, so it's on version uh, point zero point two four right now. And for data, we just have this one array, uh, which is three by three array. So uh, for creating custom functions, we'll go ahead and create uh, simple functions. Uh, let's say first function is square it. It returns the square of a number. And then get two more functions, uh, log it. And this will return the log. So np dot log of x, and then we'll create another function in inverse. So this will return inverse of x. Okay. So these are the functions we have now. We can use the functional function transformer to um, convert these. So we'll create new variables. So square square it underscore transformer and this is equal to pre processing dot function transformer and where it so we give it the name of the function that we just created now i'll copy this and paste it two times and this second one would be uh, log it and then the next one would be inverse it so we'll just change the names here as well, log, log it and then inverse it. So once we have these variables ready, now we can go ahead and put them in a pipeline. So for pipeline, we'll create a new variable pipeline is equal to pipeline with a capital P. And within parenthesis, we can specify a list. And here we specify the first one which is square this uh, that's just the name given to this first step and here we can specify the name of the transformer so square it underscore transformer and then similarly for the next one uh, this is let's call this log this and uh, again the name for this will be log it transformer and finally we have inverse it uh, so let's call this inverse this and name of the transformer inverse it transformer so once we have this pipeline ready we can use that pipeline to perform the fit and transform so we can simply say pipeline dot fit x and that's the fit and then we can say pipeline dot transform x and we have the transform matrix or alternatively we could also say pipeline dot uh, pipeline dot fit underscore transform x and we get the same result now just to make sure that what we have is makes sense we'll go ahead and check one number i just put 99 there so we'll use that so the first one is np dot square 99 we take a square and after taking the square next step uh, we did take the logarithm of that so we take the log of that and finally after taking the log for that value we took the inverse of that so this one by inverse and if you look at the output we get the same output that we had from the pipeline which is this one so that's how we can use a custom transformer it's really powerful uh, 
here i've shown a very simple example to illustrate the point but this can be used uh, in very uh, to work through or pre-process very complicated data so you can have a function for each separate column also and you can have pipelines within pipelines as well so it can get more involved if uh, the data set requires it to be and that was it for this video i hope in this entire series of pre-processing you learned how to pre-process data and you are able now able to use it in your own projects in next uh, series in scikit-learn we'll start looking at uh, uh, new topics and i hope you continue uh, to learn from those as well if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comments below as always please like share and subscribe thank you